This is 5505. It's looking very good in the fields. Um, cob height is medium height. It's about four and a half feet tall off the ground. It's a fairly tall plant. Cob around is around 14 to 16 and anywhere from 28 to 42 lengthwise. Husk cover is fairly tight um, with the big cobs poking out at the top as you see here. No sign of disease or insect damage and fairly clean leaves as well. A little bit of frog eye leaf spot. Good looking 5505. This is 52.34. Nice looking cobs. Tip back, present, but very round cobs, anywhere from 18 to 20 around. The length is a little bit shorter. Uh, 32 is the average. Seeds length. If you look at the cob husk cover fairly tight to the top so if there is any moisture that could become an issue but I do not see any disease present currently the big cobs are poking out of the top so no disease or insect present nice looking cobs a nice early early variety to choose from this is 5284 it's a ranging height not very consistent anywhere from three and a half to four and a half feet. We have cobs that look spectacular like this. Um, as you notice, the cob is tight up against the stock. Um, same here. But then we see cobs that look, have more of a tilt or tilting away. And if you open them up, Of course, this one isn't going to show it. Let me show you one. We're seeing a little bit of a disease coming in. We see some pink showing up here. Cob looks good. Then I had a row that didn't look so good. We have a little bit of sprouting going on. I think what happened here was the cob was a little bit tipped and moisture got in and it sat there and incubated and voila. So the cob size is really good. It's anywhere from 18, 16 to 18 around and it's a long cob size with a little bit of tip back. but. There's a lot of nice looking stuff in here, but I would just worry about this disease coming in a little bit. This is 5387. It's a very bushy plant. As you can see, it's hard to walk down the rows. So it has a pendulum leaf structure instead of an upright leaf structure. Cob size is, and height is very consistent. We have a little bit of tip back, like we've been seeing a lot this year. 
uh, around is 16 to 18 and length is anywhere from 28 to 32 height. I'm not seeing any disease or insect pressure. Overall, this is looking like a really good variety. Nice golden cobs. 53.87. This is 5477, another consistent cob going down the row. Uh, this one is similar to 5505 in that it is very tall and skinny. It is six or 14 to 16 around and 32 to 38 kernels high. You see the tip back again. No disease or insects present, and fairly clean leaves as well. That's looking down the row. It's a pretty open husk. Looks good. 50, 4, 77. is 5445. As you can see it has a very upright ear. It's 14 to 16 around and a pretty long cob. 28 to 34 tall. I do not see any disease present. It has a pretty tight husk but with the tip right up to the top where we might see an issue is in this sort of cob where this could fuse and create some jugarella. Uh, there isn't anything present currently. Consistent down the row, average height, very little disease on the leaves. This is 54.45. This is Decalb's full season corn, 6087. You can see it's still green in the field. Nice looking cobs all around. Fairly consistent down the row. Really nice long cobs. 16 to 8 or sorry, 14 to 16 around and tall at 34 to almost 40 kernels tall. Don't see any disease so far. I'll be checking this again. Uh, no insect damage, fairly clean leaves. This is a nice looking corn. 6087. Today is sep September 29th. We had a rain last night, about four tenths of rain. Um, this is a different field location than the plot, but I just wanted to show you the 5950 in the field. Um, really nice cob size. Plant is drying down really nicely. It's an open husk. Um, so you can see there's a little bit of Pink, if I can find it. A little bit of pink here starting. Do some as well. So this could be something we need to pay attention to and and watch, but look at that cob size. It's about 16 to 18 around and 38 to 40 length. So and consistent all the way down the row. So this is 
So that's a wrap up of the plot tour. I'm here on September 30th doing a VOM check of all of the varieties. Um, in our decal varieties, there is nothing present. Um, there is two varieties that do have it, um, and I am finding some throughout the area. Uh, so it's important to scout your fields and know what is in the field. Uh, I think we have a really good lineup of decal here from early to late season, and I'm really excited to see what the test results are. Stay tuned!